Dude, haven't you heard? We're the alpha dog today. Apex predator. Man with a gun. And sometimes woman. I mean, not me specifically, but, well, you get the idea. <laughs> I don't think he cares. I don't want to kill it if I don't have to. Let's try a flare. Maybe we can scare it off. Back off. Um, nom, 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 nom. Good morning, survivors. Paulie Jr. here. Welcome back to the long dark. We have survived 22 days, my friends. I'd better find and, some water. Uh, I don't have any water, but I have some fine Canadian lemonade. What do you say there, Punchwood? There you go, buddy. Sorry. Yeah, we just slept for, I think, 11 hours. <laughs> so, Punchwood is, uh, he's all rested up and ready to go. We're back at the Camp HQ here in Mystery Lake. We had killed a moose in the last episode on our way back from Molly's in the Pleasant Valley. And I spent a little time off camera just getting organized and uh, paring down the pack for a trip today. It's not going to be a long trip. It's going to be a short trip right back down to... Um, well, up to the Carter Hydro Dam so we can grab that moose hide because we couldn't carry it last night because it was too dang heavy. Uh, and we're going to go grab some more moose meat too. We didn't get very much of that. There's more on the Monday. So, yeah, with that, my friends, let's get rolling. Oh, hold on. I think we probably have some more charcoal here. Oh, yeah, we do. Excelente. We're not going to need it on this trip because we're not going to be going far. But we will be talking about what we shall be doing in the near future. So I did um, I did read all your comments um, and suggestions about maybe heading out to the um, to Ash Canyon to get the technical backpack, and I think that's going to be our next big adventure because we have to wait for the moose hide to cure, and we're also going to need to get another wolf hide. I thought we had wolf hides here, but we do not. So that must have been a different playthrough I was thinking of. <laughs> but for this short trip, back up the river toward Carter Hydro Dam, we don't need much. So I'm going to drop a bunch of things. I only have this in my hands because last night I cleaned it up a little bit. We just need the rifle to shoot the wolf today. Oh, we do have some wood. We can drop that over here. We're going to come back later at some point and probably do some work got a bunch of papers yeah bear with me i wasn't able to finish everything yesterday we still have uh the house being worked on here we've got people coming and going as we get ready to sell and boy is there a lot of work in this house to be done <laughs> only because we've been here for so long i mean it's in good shape but we are doing like the the uh the typical Paint all the walls and get the inside looking very nice to wow the people when they come to the open houses and so forth. Anyway, let's head out. Yeah, so at least the place looks pretty nice. Though we do have to take everything out. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit of staging with, you know, fake... Uh, fake furniture and that kind of thing the realtor is going to handle all that but we do have to clear out the rooms and I don't know where we're going to put anything because we don't have any space <laughs> we might have to rent some space temporarily I guess because we can't move into our new apartment that we rented until May so anyway that's what's going on here and I'm going to try to keep these things coming out regularly if possible Keep everybody happy and excited. And can I just leave this um, outside? I don't really need it. Do we need a light today? I doubt it. Let me go drop the light off. Just put it right here. It's just so dang heavy. We don't need it. Not today. We're going to be mostly outdoors. All right, let's go. Let's go get our moose hide and hunt a wolf. All right, so we got the riffle. And I know there's a wolf on the train track, but they're over here too, so no big deal. And there was one right at the bridge at the Carter Hydro Dam as well, wasn't there? Hold on. Uh, we could go check out the thingamabob over here, the broken railroad, right? Instead of, instead of going down the river. I haven't done any surveying here. Why the heck not? Should probably do more surveying. Well, let's go down the tracks. 
Because we can check out the Broken Railroad. We may have already been there, I don't remember. But I didn't do any surveying. Probably should have brought all that charcoal. We got a big deer here, but we don't need a big deer. So we, what we need is the wolf hide to make the wolf hide jacket. Right? And the moose hide for the moose hide snatchel. And that would be good to go. We were going to work on the crampons, the improvised crampons, but I don't think we're going to do that. Because if we go after the technical backpack, there are crampons there with the backpack in the Ash Canyon gold mine. Apparently that's where that stuff is. So we're going to get crampons with the backpack. Kill two birds with one stone. And then by the time we get back, the mu moose hide... <laughs> I got a whole new name for it now. Moose hide. The moose hide should be completely cured. Did we check this body before? I don't know. I don't know, but I will take that stick. Oh, no, we have not. And the dude's got a knife. An old kniffy. Handy. Yeah, sure. It's good to have a spare. Yeah, I thought we had way more stuff here at HQ, but it seems like we don't have a lot. I really thought we had another wolf hide, but... That is not the case. Maybe it's somewhere else. Did I leave it at, like, the trappers? I just seem to re remember dropping them on the ground and seeing a whole bunch on the floor, but that might have been a previous playthrough. Maybe the Wintermute Story Mode playthrough. We had a lot of stuff. Just like my house. Accumulated a lot of stuff, and it's everywhere. <laughs> and I don't know how to get rid of it. We do have some birds here flying about. It's going to be a corpse. Or a carcass of some sort. I don't remember being over here before. Let's hop inside this train car and we'll do a survey. Just to get it on the map. I mean, why not? It's fun. We haven't done a lot of surveying here. If we're going to live here, we should probably... Oh, there's a flare. I'll grab it. We should probably do some surveys. Whoa! Oh, look at that. We got some ammunition, too. I think too. I can use this. Ten rounds. Nice. And a small arms handbook. Well, we don't need it. Because uh, we just have to shoot the handgun, and we can learn perfectly fine. But I will bring it. It's only a pound. We could maybe burn it. Nothing. Two empty course, courses. Courses. Empty corpses. <laughs> All right. Let's do our survey. Nice and safe in here. Oh, I hear howling. There we are. The derailment. Excellent. There's the forestry lookout. Oh, maybe we left stuff at the forestry lookout. Did we? I don't know. Seems like we have not been here in a long, long time. Might as well grab that flare. So the trip out to to get the technical backpack in the um, Ash Canyon is going to require us to go back to Pleasant Valley. I know that doesn't sound very pleasant since we just got back from there. We spent a lot of time there. But we just have to pass through. That's all. We're gonna, gonna move fast and light just to get through it. And uh, out through the Timberwolf Canyon exit, which I think is up like in the far... It's gonna be up in like the northwest or east corner or something. I, I forget. Ravaged deer. Back There's gotta be here. something useful in here. Wow, that was loud. Okay, you're back, Punchwood. Nice, buddy. Good to hear from you. There's some water. That's great. We could, use, we could have used the water. Almost perfect timing. A little bit of frozen water. Now, there's a lot of wolves over here. We don't need to kill all of them. Just one. And grab the hide and run. So, once we get through the Pleasant Valley... Oh, there's the wolves. They're crossing the train tracks. Going to the other side of the tracks, are you? Hmm, looks like there might even be the three. Just two. Now I'm thinking maybe just avoiding these two and getting that solo wolf that was down by the bridge. He seemed to be alone. Oh, 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 okay. Well, are they just going to go back and forth? Okay, we've got one howling and the other one going off into the woods. If I can draw one out, that would be ideal. Oh, now they're coming back this way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just don't want to have to deal with two wolves. Save my ammo. I know we have a lot of ammo. But 
We're gonna need it for our trip to the airfield. All right, I think if we just shoot this one, the other one will take off, right? Let's go to the right and we'll target this guy right here. Yep, he's getting farther away now. Yep, good, good, that's a good puppy. Good puppy. Come on straight in, buddy. Don't shoot till you see the whites of his eyes. I'm gonna have to get a nice, clean kill. In fact, I'm gonna back up for that other one. Nice, clean headshot would be sweet. Just wanted to come straight on. Keep him coming. Come on, pal. Go over here, big guy. Sorry we have to do this to you. But we have to do this to you. <laughs> Little closer now. Little closer. Alright, he's gonna charge when I aim, so it'll have to be a snapshot. Alright, that's a snapshot. The other one heard it, and he's running this way. Really, dude? Okay, just let him go. Why would you run toward the gunshot? You ding dong. All right, he might come back, so we gotta we gotta do this quick. All right, let's grab the hide. I'm not gonna grab the meat. We're just gonna grab the hide. Thirty minutes with the knife and do we need the guts? Fifty minutes. Yeah, we we do need the guts. All right, hide and guts. Hopefully that other wolf doesn't come back. At least it's nice and warm. That's a bonus. All right, now we got fresh stinky guts. And now we just got to get out of dodge. I don't think that dude's coming back. Oh, yeah, he is. Good. You can eat his friend. I mean, survival of the fittest, right? Let's get up on the tracks. Is he going after his friend? Is he, no, he's just returning to his spot over here. Ah, uh, dude, don't do that. All right, we got to run. <laughs> I don't really want to shoot this one. So we'll go off to the side here. I mean, he's moving pretty fast. He forgot about the gunshot. Short memories, these wolves. Where'd he go? Oh, maybe he is... Oh, no, he's coming back. He slowed down a little. All right, there might be more wolves up here, so we just have to keep our eyes forward. Now we're going to run into that solo wolf, aren't we? Unless I go down to the river this way, I think we can do that. But I want to check out this train car and we'll do another survey so getting back to the Pleasant Valley we are gonna have to um, pass through the Timberwolf mountain which is also a long way I'm gonna grab those for the cured leather um, yeah we've been here before because that door is normally closed I think all right we got uh, two more charcoal is it even worth doing a survey yeah, sure why not Get it on the map. There we go. Vehicle. Train loading area. All right. Safe to go out. I think it's safe to go out. Oh, I didn't bring any uh, spray paint. Could have spray painted this thing. Left a little graffiti. <laughs> All right. Back on the tracks. Although I am going to turn off to the right here so we don't have to deal with that wolf ahead. Train loading area. Yeah, we have been here before. This should bring us right down to the river. So once we get through Pleasant Valley, we pass into the Timberwolf Mountain region. And there's not a lot of shelter there, I don't think. Is this a corpse? Sure is. Where's all the birdies? Um, there's not a lot of shelter there. There is one hut, I think, along the way that we can stop in. Could end up being useful. Oh, those are good dozen wooden matches so we will stop at that hut uh, it's called a mountaineers hut I think and then from the mountaineers hut we'll strike out for the ash canyon which apparently is uh, not too far from that uh, from the mountaineers hut mountaineers hut seems to be about in the center of that region and there's actually two ways to go to get to the canyon from uh, from Timberwolf Mountain, we're gonna stick with the um, easier trek because one of them requires like four rope climbs, I think, and I really don't want to do that. That would be awful. 
Uh, let's go up here first. Oh, shoot. There he is. We should have just killed this one. He's not going to leave us alone, is he? You're not going to leave us alone, are you? He's going to be over here the whole time. Well, we're going to go inside the trailer. Maybe we can lose him. It's starting to get foggy now. Gonna grab our moose hide. It's up here. And a few other things I had to drop. Yep, here he comes. Seems to have lost us. Let's go in. Alright. Let's just chill. Oh, it's 11% cured already? In one night. That seems pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, here's some more charcoal. Oh, and here's our spray paint. We can go back and spray that train. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not doing that. And a pry bar. we got to pick this up, obviously. Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff underneath it. So, we're still underweight. We'll grab these. Uh, the can opener. We definitely don't need the book. Field dressing. Um, I mean, Ten hours of research for this thing. Just don't think it's necessary. We don't do that much dressing. But it's only a pound. Guess I'll grab it. I mean, we just have to run back to HQ anyway. Uh, and the pry bar. Sure. I think that's that might be our only pry bar. Alright, let's have a quick drink. What do we got here? I didn't bring any coffee? Oh, dang it. Alright, well, we'll just have some lemonade. And what do we have to eat? We got nothing to eat. I didn't bring that moose. Did I eat that whole piece of moose? I guess I did. Wow. All right. Well, we're going to go get a ton of meat from this moose right now. So, gun up. Let's take care of this wolfie. Oh, wolfie. <laughs> Seems like he's gone. Or he's hiding in that thick fog. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like this fog. I don't think we're going to be able to get down there and get that wolf meat without dealing with this wolf permanently. Oh, hey, who left the door open here? Punchwood, what, do you live in a barn, buddy? Close the door. <laughs> we don't want the wolf sneaking in there. Oh, I wonder if he went in. Now nah, he's over here somewhere. Let's see if we can get a nice, clean headshot from up here on the bridge. If he's still down there. Whoa. Oh, nope, there he is. There he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, 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 no, 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 bad. Bad! Bad dog. Aw, so sad. I don't want to kill you. I didn't want to. I'm sorry. But if we didn't kill this guy, he'd just be bothering us the whole time. Uh, We don't need that meat because it's full of parasites. We don't really need to hide. Do we? I don't think so. Um, Not really. We just got to hide. It's too bad. We could have just... Taking that dude's hide instead of the other one. Alright, let's go get our moosey meat. Should be free and clear. There's something over there too. We'll go investigate, but let's grab the meat first. I think that wolf was a loner. It's all this then. Uh, crow feathers. Alright, we'll snag him, I guess. Although, I don't think we're going to be making a bow. Alright, this guy's frozen solid. 100% frozen. So we're going to need the hatchet for this one, I think. I think it's faster. Oh, yeah. By a long shot. Let's do... Let's go 13 pounds. That's one full hour. 200 calories burned. And start chopping. At least it's nice and warm today. Have to drop some gear. Oh, really? How much heavier are we? Oh, by four pounds. Wow. Don't really have anything to drop, do we? <laughs> Let's just go over here under the bridge. Is that wood? No, nope. it is a fire though. Is there charcoal? Oh, take the charcoal. Fantastic, just one. I don't think we can survey in, in this fog, can we? No. Dang it. There's a cairn, but we don't care about the cairns. It's a dead deer. Let's go check it out. Time is it? Yeah, we have plenty of time right now. Just a ravaged deer. Wolf got him. But we got the wolf. Again, I don't like to kill the wolves if I don't have to. It's very sad. 
but I think it was him or us this time around. It's hunt or be hunted in these parts, right? And that wolf has been harassing us down here since the beginning. So, no remorse. Well, alright, just a little. I, I know I'm trying to justify shooting the darn thing. <laughs> alright, it's just a dead end. There's the damn wall. So, now we're just going to head back to camp office. I'm going to follow the river all the way back. I'm going to grab some cattail stalks and some cattail heads. Like these right here. And we can have a quick snack because Punchwood's getting hungry. And the cattail heads are very good for starting fires. And I think they're lighter than the other plugs. So, that'll help us on our trip. I want to go light and fast to get that technical backpack. At least that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> and I think Ash Canyon will be a good test for us. It'll be like a good practice run for the final push to the airfield because there's no... As far as I know, there is no um, shelter there. Or maybe very limited shelter. So we're going to have to get some fire started outside. And, uh, you know, procure some food and that kind of thing. So that would be a good, fun test. There you go, Punchwood. Have some fiber, buddy. A lot of cattails here. Free eats. If it's free, it's for me. All right, I think that's enough. There's plenty more here. We'll, we'll probably find more along our trip. I think the trip in the Ash Canyon is along a river, at least some of it. So we'll find plenty more of those cattails. All right, so I'm going to head into the fog down the river and get to HQ. I don't think we'll run into any trouble on the river. I don't recall any wolves on this river. So we should be okay. And if we run into any trouble, you'll be the first to know. What was that? Is that a dead thing or just a rock? I think it's just a rock. Anyway, winding my way through here, the windy river. Probably about halfway there. Sun is going down. We're super smelly. Look at all those slabs of meat. Beautiful. Oh, wow. They're down to 56% already? Man, they go bad fast. Which is weird because they were frozen outdoors. Oh, no, no, no. There's a wolf. Wolf on the rip. Really? Oh, man. He must have smelled us from somewhere else. I don't remember ever seeing a wolf here. Dude. Haven't you heard? We're the alpha dog today. Apex predator. Man with a gun. And sometimes woman. I mean, not me specifically, but, well, you get the idea. <laughs> I don't think he cares. I don't want to kill it if I don't have to. Let's try a flare. Maybe we can scare it off. Back off. Hit him. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> let's run. Don't look back. Run. <laughs> He'll be back. They're brave or stupid or hungry or all three, maybe. Oh, man. We are still a little heavy. These hides are super heavy. That moose hide is like 11 pounds. I think that guy was alone. Can't really run. Yeah, I want to preserve my ammo. For the longer trips out into the wilderness, like, well, if we go after the technical backpack, that's going to be one of those trips. I think there's wolves in Ash Canyon, quite a few of them. And also the Forlorn Muskeg, the Broken Railroad, lots of predators there. Oh, I, oh man, I want that moss up there. I uh, just can't get it right now. There's nothing in there. We've been here before. <laughs> Yeah, we need more of the old man's lichen to make the dressing, the wound dressing, because it is lighter than the um, than the bottle of antiseptic. So that's something we need to keep an eye out for. All right. Oh, is this the lake? Seems like it's a wide, wide opening. Okay, cool. Yeah, here we go. Just have to hug the right side of the lake. It'll bring us right to camp office. It looks like the wolf gave up chase. Good, good, good. I don't really want to kill another wolf today. 
I feel badly killing them and leaving them behind. But it was self-defense. That's my plea, and I'm sticking with it. Not guilty. There it is. Home sweet home. And look at that. The fog is lifting. And I think we are free and clear. Just got to get inside. And we'll start cooking up all that meat. Sadly, the wood stove only has uh, two cooking slots. So we can only do two slabs at a time. And they take like an hour and a half each. Which is a lot. <laughs> so... We might have to chop some wood. We got that log right there we can chop up for burning. For now, I'm just going to drop it here because it is it's going bad so fast. 56%. Wow. We'll get two of them going right away. And I'll come back out for the rest later. Oh, I hear a wolf. He's looking for us. <laughs> All right, let's move the bedroll over here. And I'm we'll... going to need to rest soon. Yeah. Soon, buddy. Soon. But hang on, we got other things to do. We'll drop that, 1% cured. And we'll drop the elephant hide over here. The thing is just enormous. 11% <laughs> cured, I'm gonna just slide it over. That's good. I just don't like the way that clips, it looks kind of dumb. But it's good enough. All right, so what else do we have here? Oh, the, the guts, might need a couple of extra guts, but Four is really all we need for the jacket but we have to wait for that and that now and that's why we're gonna go after the technical backpack um, I guess we can just yeah we don't need that anymore hopefully that doesn't start a fire okay so we're back and I'm gonna get organized and then we're gonna go probably in the morning but yeah see here we only have two two slots for cooking and boiling this water I think I'm just gonna take it I know it's unsafe but we do have some tablets how do we, do we use the tablets this way use purifying water okay shake it shake it baby all right not quite done we can do one more use this one right here I guess and it is now done. We don't have to boil it. So now we can pick up the pots and throw down our two slabs. Of course, I got to get the fire started. All right, let's get this party started. I want some nice, fresh moose steaks. A little more fire starting practice will help us in the long run quite a bit. And that's probably the only book I'm going to continue reading is a fire starting one. And uh, apparently we can just keep reading the same book over and over oh grab the wood toss it in there at least according to what i've read in the comments so we can keep rereading the same the same title book but not the same actual book you know what i mean but i'm not too worried about wilderness kitchen this one right here i definitely want to read see this one we can burn because we already read that one but i think i might have another one around do i oh wait let's get those steaks going so i'm wasting time Man, they get gamey so fast. Do they cook faster in a pot, I wonder? I don't know. Uh, wow, we need more fuel in here, which is five. We got plenty of coal. Yeah, let me go see what we have here for books. Do we have another fire starting one? Yes, this guy right here. Perfect. See, two hours out of five. We've already started working on this one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue doing that. Might do it right now. As long as Punchwood can stay awake. Throw some reclaimed on here, I guess, while this is all cooking. And, and, that'll be plenty. We got an hour for those two, and it's going to take me an hour to read, right? This is definitely the most important one right here. We need to be able to start fires in the locations where there's no shelter, right? It's going to be super important. Oh, storm kicked up. Don't matter, we're indoors. It's nice and cozy in here. I'm going to go out and get two more slabs of meat. Oh, yeah, big storm. Wow. Oh, it's moldy already. It's gamey. What the heck? This is all moldy already. Can we can we cook that? Uh, oh, we have a tea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need that tonight. We've got a couple of coffees here, too. Quick, get it. And the meat goes bad so fast. 
Can we cook the gamey right out of it in the mold? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. they're burning. Oh, get them up. Get them up. Get them up. Moose meat cooked. Fantastic. Let's cook up the other two. We got the moldy. Well, let's do the gamey. Yeah, it seems like the longer you keep the meat on the animal, the faster it goes bad. That's just a little piece. It's not going to take very long to cook. Whatever. Let's throw another coal in here. I'm going to keep going. I'm so tired. I could just lay down right here. Uh, soon, buddy. Oh, you know what? We can't read when he's exhausted. Can't read when he's exhausted. So that's that's pretty much it for the reading. <laughs> okay, how about some repair work? We're not bringing the rifle on our quick trip. So let's put that away. And I'm going to grab the handgun. It's over here somewhere. Where are you at? There's the ammo. There it is. Oh, it's 97%. I'm going to drop the rifle here and put it up on the table. Can you get it up on the table? I can't really see. Uh, that's going to have to do. <laughs> okay. Back over here. Alright, and let's just do a quick cleaning action. Well, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to clean. Action. Clean it. Oh, I should have unloaded it first. Never do this. Always unload your firearm before cleaning it. But since it's just a game, I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> Don't try this at home, folks. I'm a trained professional gamer. I would drink almost anything about now. Almost anything. How about some fine Canadian lemonade, my friend? Yeah, Punchwood's getting thirsty and hungry. Let's just pass the time on that one and grab it. And let's eat. What do you got here? Small one? Small one. Mmm, delish. Wow. Uh, didn't really fill us up. Oh, these are 100% now, so it looks like you can cook the game right out in the mold. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, how are we doing on time? Uh, we can do one more once that one's done. I'm going to go out and get... Oh, oh no, my, uh, my light's downstairs, isn't it? My lamp is down here. Let's go get it quick. Punch with some breathing heavily here. He's exhausted. But I want to get this done. We got moldy, moldy. Um, probably only going to have enough wood and time to do two. So one is just going to have to be left in the snow. Can you find your way up? And there you go. Up we go. Follow the light. <laughs> okay, that one's got an hour. This one's 21 minutes. We got 15 minutes. Let's sharpen up the axe. 11 minutes. I know this isn't the most exciting stuff, but it has to be done. And if we don't do it now, we may never get the chance again. So let's do one more sharpen action here. 16 minutes. Uh, well, I don't want this to burn. Oh, 48. Well, all right. Let's let's grab that off there. Throw another one on. Might want to do some more water too, actually. Because we're running low. Okay, so now let's do sharpen up the knife. Yeah, I'd be doing some reading right now, but I don't think you can read when you're exhausted. I think I've tried that before, and it just does not work. But maybe we can sew. Can you sew, pal? We can try sewing, though. I think we have some cloth here in here. A little bit, not much. How long is that going to take? 27 minutes. Go! Go for it. Ooh, storm is passing. That's good. So hopefully the morning will be nice. Up to 90. I think that's fair. We can, we can still do some repairing. Um, that one's done. And then this one's got 26 minutes. 31. That's going to work out perfectly fine. And I might... Whoop, give me a pot. I might get some water started. All right, looks like we have the timing down right for the meat anyway, and we will be ready to go in the morning. But yeah, Punchwood's got to get to bed now. He's uh, not sounding so hot. Can we just eat a bunch of cattail stalks? Save on the meat. I'm going to go bring the meat outside, actually, and drop it in the snow. 
So we're just going to fill up on cattail stalks for bed. <laughs> and hopefully he doesn't poop the bed in the middle of the night. You know how that fiber is. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Almost filled up his belly with cattail stalks. 14 more minutes. All right, let's pass the time on the meat. Grab the meat. And then this is boiling. Oh, cooking skill went up. Wow, excellent. I guess we get uh, faster cooking or better cooking or something. I don't know. Um, we're just going to let that go. All right, I'm just going to go bring this meat outside and drop it in the snow. I can't sprint. <laughs> so exhausted. It's all right. We're going to get plenty of sleep tonight. Oh, it's a beautiful night. It's beautiful. It's not too shabby. It's just a slight storm tonight. Nice light snow, but it's not a blizzard anyway. Oh, I was going to say, maybe we don't need a match to get upstairs, but it looked like we did. Yeah, we're going to bring the distress pignol and all those sh flares, I think, on the next trip. May not even bring a gun. I don't know. I need to think about that. Oh, we got just... Oh, sorry. Oh, water's done. Okay, great. So now we have a little bit more potable water. Fantastic. That should get us through the day. And now, my friends, we're going to hop into bed and go to sleep. I know, Punchwood. I know you're so tired. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, hold on. We have some tea. We do have a cup of herbal tea. Drink that. Mmm. And... Time for Betty Bye, my friend. All right, nine hours of sleep. We'll see you in the morning in the next episode. Good night. Oh.